Hi everyone, let's get started. But before diving into Python programming, let's decide which IDE we will use for coding. There are several IDEs like NetBeans, PyCharm, Jupyter, Sublime, Visual Studio Code, etc. So let's select one from the 10 best IDEs for Python programmers. And I'm going to select the ninth one, Sublime Text 3. The Sublime Text 3 is one of the most powerful cross-platform lightweight code editors till date and for beginners it is the best IDE to use. So let's install it and before installing I'm going to show you my system configuration. I'm using elementary 64-bit Ubuntu right now and all the installations will be done based on this configuration. So let's install Synaptic Package Manager first. It will help you to download all the related files of a particular package simultaneously. So since I have installed Synaptic Package Manager, let's go to Synaptic Package Manager and install Sublime. And in the search bar, just type for Sublime and it will list all the related items of sublime package and just click on this apply button and again this apply button and it will download the files for us and before doing all the installations and downloads and all just make sure that you are connected to the internet so the synaptic package manager have done its job so we have installed Sublime in our system and the selection of the Synaptic Package Manager or Software Sender for downloading purpose is up to you. You can select anyone from this and Synaptic Package Manager is a bit simple than Software Sender I think. And it's completely up to you. You can select anyone according to your convenience. So let's go to the sublime text right now. This is the sublime text or sublime IDE. And I have selected Python language. And here we can see all the languages that are supported by sublime text. And since we are coding in Python, we are selecting Python and uh, over here in the right corner in the upper position we can see something this is nothing but just the mini map mini map shows all the codes in a miniature forms that we are typing in this big console that's it and if that is disturbing you then just go to the view and hide mini map and we have got it, many other options over here. File options, new file open, file open, folder, etc. Edit options and all. And using all these options and this console, we can do many things. But the programming and this IDE in Python will be started by the next tutorial on words. So that's all for now. Keep watching and thank you.